Hey everyone, uh, got some changes to the channel coming up and in a future video I will be going over the changes, my direction, and also thanking everyone out there. The subscribers are growing and that's really what I wanted just to make this a little more interesting and help some people out there. But big thing I wanted to talk about today, I'm making the change. So I had purchased uh, some Panasonic cameras and have been thrilled with them. Uh, they serve their purpose, but I find myself taking more stills. And so uh, got my Peak Designs pack here, but that's not really the story. Got a review on that coming up, but what is the story? is I picked up some Sony gear. So some of the gear that I'll be breaking into and knocking out will be the new A6500 or Alpha 6500. Uh, I got some great deals on some open box items. I'm a big believer in that, especially from Best Buy or B&H because the ratings are always on point. Uh, you can trust the item and where it came back. I've never had a bad experience, but uh, great deals right now at B&H. I actually was able to get the A6500 and it came with a free battery. So. That's a $50 or $60 value, uh, pick that up. I won't really get into the open boxing of stuff right now, but I'm super excited about the capability these Sony platforms offer. Panasonic is gonna lead the way on video for me, so I'm not really gonna have to change up too much, but I did also want a platform to where I could have the ability for 4K video, and although it may not have the ease or some of the features of the Panasonic, it has it's more than capable of doing it, but it's gonna have a better stage set for still photography. So we've got a larger sensor here and I've got a plan for the Sony platform coming up and I'll go over that in my next video of the channel's direction. Um, but better low light capability, better capability for wildlife, you know, some amateur sports, you know, if I'm out there just doing hobbyist type stuff. Uh, but the other items I picked up that Best Buy had, they had the uh, kind of the Sony Nifty 50, you know, the 50 f.1.8. Um, had a great deal on that. Not much off. Best Buy is typically about 10% off on an open box, so that one wasn't too big. Uh, but this one was very large. I got a smoking deal on this, so uh, disregard the box. It looks like someone sent it as a Christmas present and still has some tape marks from the wrapping. But I got the 70 to 300. Um, you might ask why I went with the 70 to 300. The reason I got this guy. With the crop factor of the APS-C sensor, you've got essentially your 70 to 300 lens is going to be about 105 to 450. So that's going to give me huge range. Uh, and a lot of the testing I've seen online, it's sharper corner to corner than the 70 to 200 F4. So I figure this is going to be a great uh, lens for me to... Not necessarily just a filler because I do see myself using this long term, but this will hold me over until that 70 to 200 f2.8 gets out a little more frequently. Um, not so worried about the price because what I intend to do, and again, this goes into my plan, I'll talk about in the next video with future cameras, but uh, you know, I would get that teleconverter with the 70 to 200 2.8. Um, but I'm super excited for this. This is going to give me a lot of capability. You know, I had a similar lens with the Panasonic, that Vario 1 to 400, but uh, the performance just was not there with the Panasonic sensor. So that may change in the future. I'm really interested in the GH5 and what it can do with its uh, low light and increased megapixels on that micro four third sensor. But for right now, uh, I have moved over to Sony to take care of my wildlife uh, kind of amateur hobbyist needs. And along with that, it's going to be used as uh, one of my video cameras. Pri probably not my primary video. I'm going to stick with the Panasonic G85 just because for me, that is the best video output uh, quality capability and in such a small form factor that I'm going to continue to use it. But the A6500 has all of that too. So I will have some side-by-side -side comparisons coming up. Uh, thanks. Continue to check out the channel. And if you guys have any uh, comments, ideas, some things you may want to see in the future, please let me know and I will take care of them. Talk to you soon. Make sure to check out my other social media. Like, share this video. And uh, I'm going to get some more links down below where you can see this gear. But every view helps. You know, not a ton of money coming off of YouTube, but I'm just hoping to put it back into the channel so I can make some more vids. Thanks. Go tell your friends.